It's Thrifty Tiffany and I am back with a Trader Joe's haul. Yes, y'all, finally Trader Joe's. It's been a while for me and I was so excited to go today. Today is Monday and I really needed to stock up on some groceries. I was gone for the weekend for Father's Day. We went to Chattanooga. Um, I do have that vlog coming up. I don't know if that's gonna be posted before this or after that, but stay tuned for the vlog of Kaya and I going on a overnight trip to Chattanooga. We stayed at a really cool hotel, but this is Trader Joe's. So I wanted to share with you um, the items that I picked out. Once again, if you've never been to Trader Joe's before, definitely go and just check them out. Their prices are so reasonable. They have organic products. They have so many unique different products to try. If you do have a TikTok, you'll see on TikTok, a lot of people go to Trader Joe's and they find all the unique like different foods. And again, the cost is perfect. It's not expensive at all, y'all. And you can get really good organic products. So it, to me, it reminds me of like an island. Like when you're on an island and you go to a grocery store, like it, that's what it reminds me of. But we're going to jump in. I hope everyone is doing well today and you're happy and you're healthy and y'all had a wonderful Father's Day weekend. Today is Monday and yes, time to stock up these the refrigerator. First things first, so we're going to get started. I got the I'm probably going to be saying this wrong. I got several things of this nature. The El Elote, you know, the, like the, it's called the Mexican street corn, but they got the organic El Elote corn chips. He's basically Fritos, but their brand of Fritos. And it says with a Mexican style street corn flavored seasoning. I love El Elote. So I cannot wait to try these. We might do some trying at the end, but let's get through the haul first. So I got those. And I saw those on TikTok, so it made me want to buy it. If you ever want to know the new items that Trader Joe's has, look on TikTok. Also found these crackers. These are the Everything But The Bagel Season Bite Size Crackers with garlic, onion, caraway, poppy seed, and sesame seeds. And this is going to be so good with cream cheese. Oh my gosh. And maybe put a little piece of salmon on it. So, so good. I got those. Also, some um, mini sweet peppers. Love these. I love snacking on these, dipping it in hummus or uh, jalapeno cream cheese. Really, really good. And all of these groceries, y'all, it's a pretty decent size haul. $200. $200 for all of this. You're going to see all the stuff I got for $200. Their prices are so good. I got the fresh mozzarella balls that we always get with all the seasonings and you can dip it in the bread. You can eat this mozzarella on salad. You can just snack on it by itself. We love this stuff so much. Um, I got some of these green beans, the thin ones. This is how you say it. I always mess it up, so I just don't say it. But they're very, very thin, and I love these. They're basically like green beans. I don't know. I I'll say it wrong, y'all. But I got those. <laughs> also got a couple of protein bars. They actually had my favorite one bars, the birthday cake ones. So I picked up two of those. These have 20 grams protein, one gram sugar. And then I got some of their brands um, for Cayman to try. Their protein bar, this is chocolate dough, 20 grams protein, no added sugar. Um, so I got this one. Then I got the white chocolate almond bar for him to try. And then I got a cookies and cream for Cayman to try. So, and these are, the brand is Bear Bells. Barbells, maybe barbells. Barbells and bear, you know what I'm trying to say. We got some blueberries, and blueberries were such a good price, as well as the raspberries. Y'all, I wanted some nice fresh fruits. And then we got a big thing of strawberries, because I know strawberries are like in season right now, and they're so sweet, and I literally love strawberries, y'all. They also have this really cute whipping cream in a carton, and I just had to get it because it, you can set it in your, it's pantry stable, pantry, it's a pantry staple is what I guess I'm what I'm trying to say. Um, but cream at the ready when you need it. Cream at the ready when you need it. It's literally it's shelf stable. That's what I was trying to say right here. Shelf stable. But they're little cartons for whipped cream. So I picked some up. I thought that, first of all, these are so cute. And you'll have it on hand and it won't go bad in the refrigerator if you don't use it in time. So really cool got cucumber i love english cucumbers y'all and there's like all of their veggies and stuff very good price um here is my receipt and i'll tell you the exact amount that's how much stuff we got y'all a lot i it was a total of 198.26 plus tax it was 206.46 that's 
a lot of tags, y'all. But yes, 206.46 is the total. Um, also, so I told you we're gonna have a lot of the Elote. So they have this dip. That's the everything and the Elote Greek style yogurt dip with corn, Elote seasoning, and grated cheese. And I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Elote. I don't know, but um. I got that. I love it, y'all. I love it. So, you can dip these, these in here. Can't wait to taste, taste it. Got some frozen fruits for um, smoothies. Also, recently bought a new Ninja uh, blender. So, I love it. And you can make um, like acai bowls with it or coconut bowls with it. So, I picked up some frozen mango chunks. They look so good. Also, got some super sweet white corn. Then we got some broccoli florets. I love the florets, y'all. Then I got the a go-to is the mandarin chicken, y'all. This tastes like to-go Chinese food. It tastes so good. It's the mandarin orange chicken. You can make you some broccoli with it and then some plain white rice. So good. And Kaya likes the, that for dinner all the time. We got um, chocolate covered bananas. These are so good. It's Trader Joe's version of it. And they're so good. They have strawberries too, but my kids and I love the banana ones. So good. Also on TikTok, it's trending where everyone's using these hash browns as like toast. And then you put avocado on top and a fried egg and tomato. So I'm going to be doing that. But these are just Trader Joe's hash browns and hash browns are so good. Um, I got some salmon burgers and I got these because these literally only have three carbs and they are just premium salmon burgers. So I picked those up. Then I got this for Kaya. She loves these quick dinners when we're eating something healthy and she wants something more of substance. She loves this, um, caca, I don't even, pepe, it's some caca, pepe. <laughs> know how to say it but it's really good she likes it and they're like the pastas like in little individual portions in here it's really she loves it i got some turkey there's another one somewhere here not sure, right here we got two things of this columbus turkey now you can get a bigger one of these at costco but since we were there i just grabbed two these are peppered turkey breast y'all i love peppered turkey breast love pepper i love pepper if you've ever watched a cook with me, you know I love pepper. Um, I got pineapple tidbits. These are frozen. So I got pineapple and mango, and then you put like a frozen banana and make you a smoothie bowl. So good. Even spinach, y'all. Spinach is so good in smoothies. I got some coconut whipped cream. Love coconut whipped cream. I got my salmon. Look how good this salmon looks, y'all. If you don't get nothing else from Trader Joe's, get you some of this type of salmon. It's so good. It's hot smoked, cracked peppercorns, mustard seed, and lemon. Y'all, this with some cream cheese and these bagel seasoning uh, crackers, stop it. It's so good, y'all. So good. And another good snack, you get these little mini peppers. Um, stuff it with the cream cheese. Also, put your little piece of salmon in it. It's just like little bites to eat around the house, and they're so good. Um, I got some, the 99% lean ground turkey. So basically it's ground turkey breast. And look how fresh these look. They look so good. I just love shopping at Trader Joe's, y'all. I got the maple. This is the best chicken sausage. It's maple chicken sausage, breakfast chicken sausage. So good. Also got the uncured pepper turkey bacon. Look at this turkey bacon. It's so good. And you can find a lot of turkey bacon, turkey type products there at Trader Joe's. And then I got some beef. This is the extra lean. I, if I buy beef, I buy extra, extra lean. This is 96% lean ground beef. So I love getting these. And their meat prices are reasonable. Like I'm telling y'all, don't think Trader Joe's is like Whole Foods. It's definitely not. It's definitely not way better priced y'all way better we got two more bags y'all i'm still going this was 200 dollars. that's a lot of food for 200 dollars. sour cream and onion this is fairly new i believe i saw this on tiktok it's lentil and rice snacks and it's baked not fried so it's supposed to be like a healthier version um it only has it has carbs low calories but it looks good and i love sour cream and onion basically like a funyun but sour cream and onion and it's made with lentil. 
Um, bananas, gotta have bananas, y'all. I love bananas. We love bananas in this house. I got cash. I get these every time I go to Trader Joe's. If you know anybody allergic to peanut butter, but they used to like Reese's or want to try Reese's, this is the sunflower seed butter cups. I don't prefer these. I don't really like these, but Cash loves them. I mean, he, he's the one that has to eat them anyway. So I got those. I always get them when I go to the Trader Joe's. And he puts them in the freezer. Also, I, they had these sparkling white teas. Look how, first of all, look at the packaging. And literally, three carbs, three sugars in this one right here. Sparkling tea, look at them. This is pomegranate, I have not tried this. Uh, that's pomegranate. Then I got, of course I got the black tea peach juice. The, the packaging is everything on here, literally everything. So I got that and then I got this for Cayman. It's the chocolate almond granola. Y'all, he used to love this stuff so I wanted to see if he would want it again. Um, I got some seasonings. I got everything but the bagel. And I got the El Elote seasoning. Y'all, I had to stock up on this because everybody's been talking about it. So I had to get some. And you can use that seasoning on anything, y'all. And then I got some candied pecans. Those pecans that I got from the um, farmer's market were so good. The cinnamon ones. So I got the candied pecans. I bought these before. These are really good as well. Good little snacking snack to have around the house. I got some chia seeds. I do want to start making overnight oats again, and I wanted to get some chia seeds because I am incorporating um, some carbs back into my diet. Um, so yes, so I got those. I wanna try, I have not tried chia seeds, so I thought I would do an overnight oat, like coconut milk, chia seeds, um, oats, and maybe put a little honey, some dates, or something like that in there. And you can also put frozen fruit in it. I got some turkey jerkies. I got two of them. One is teriyaki and one is original. And it's big pieces of turkey jerky, y'all. Look at that. Look at this whole piece of turkey jerky. So I got two of those. This stuff is everywhere. Uh, and this was the other sparkling green tea. This is pineapple. So we got pineapple, peach, and pomegranate. And I cannot wait to try these. And all of them, literally, calories, 10 calories three carbs, two sugars. So I am here for it. Then what is this? Oh, I grabbed a wine. They had Love Olivia peach wine. Look at this beautiful peach wine. This just looks like something. It looks so classy. Looks like a little brunchy brunch. I love the peach. Y'all, I'm a peach girl all day, every day. A Georgia peach. Then these are the oats that I got. Old fashioned organic oats. So I'm gonna make some overnight oats. Then, we got some corn. I just needed some regular corn. Gotta get corn if we're gonna put some of the seasoning on it, you know? I'm gonna use both of those. And then I got some pinto be beans, I believe, organic pinto beans. You know what I also wanna make that's trending on TikTok? The cowboy caviar. Cowboy caviar, I should've got all the stuff, but this is some of the items that you do need, need for it. Um, I got some more peanut butter, cause we're almost out of the peanut butter we got at Costco. Those two big containers were already almost out. Came in and I love peanut butter. But this is creamy, no stir peanut butter. So we're gonna try theirs. I haven't tried, I haven't tried Trader Joe's peanut butter. But that is it, y'all. That is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, if you haven't been to Trader Joe's, definitely check out your local Trader Joe's. Um, if it's like in 30 minutes drive, go to it. I'm telling you, it's so much fun. It's like a smaller grocery store. There's not like a thousand options. It's like their brand but really cool different types of items. And again, if you have a TikTok, check out on TikTok what's trending, all the new stuff that people are trying and telling you to definitely go get, look for that. But thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed it and y'all have a wonderful week. Bye y'all, love y'all.